welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. If you are a current subscriber, thank you so much for sticking around. If you have noticed one thing already, I have a new camera, my new pride and joy. It's picking up a lot of stuff, but we're gonna fix that. So, it's been a hot minute. The last time I did like a proper sit down video was September. Um, honestly, because I kept saying to you guys, this would be better if I had a new camera or when I get a new camera, it'll pick up the quality. And that, that time is now. We have a new ring light, we have a new stand. It's all coming together. So in today's video, we are just doing a normal sit down video. I'm gonna do my everyday makeup while answering the questions that you guys asked on my Instagram and Facebook. So I actually got a lot more questions than I thought I would. Um, I've never had that many questions before, so let's get on. So just to start off, just to name a few products. With my hair, I used the Tresemme Mousse Volume Lift and Salon Finish and the VO5 Heat Protector. Um, so there, that's obviously all done. I've done the Nivea Soft Moisturiser and my brows. I am using the Maybelline New York Tattoo Brow Easy Peel Off. Now there's another one that's just a brush, like a tinting thing I think. I swear by this, honestly, this is the packaging. It's amazing. It's £12 and a lot of people don't really want to spend that much. Um, I've told a few people about it and they think it's a bit hasty but I think £12 is really good because it does last ages and the brows I'm doing now, they will last, obviously it's not going to look like this at the end, they will last, I'd say a week, give or take, but they're really, really good. Okay, getting on with the questions, the first question is where will your next holiday be? Um, I don't actually know, not going to lie. We did have Florida, like Disneyland, booked, but, you know, the whole corona happened and that's obviously not going on right now. But I think it's kind of a blessing in disguise. We're using that money, well I use half of that money to pay for my camera. And then the other half we're putting straight into our savings to buy a mortgage. How do you see yourself in five years time? Um, I don't actually like this question. Uh, I'm not the sort of person that plans. Um, if a lot of people know me, you probably think I would because I'm such an anxiety, stress head person. Oh, sugar. I forgot to do my primer. Oh well, well anyway, <laughs> it's going off to a good start. Right, let me do my primer. I'm using the e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer. Obviously you saw this on TikTok and it's so good. I'm running out, but I have got a new one. So yeah, five years time. Um, I don't like this question because I try not to plan like five years in advance, a year in advance, if I can help it. Um, I am a very anxious person. So I don't want to overthink things because I just think everything happens for a reason and if it doesn't happen at that time there's a reason why it hasn't happened at that time. So I'm just seeing how things go. If it happens, it happens. Definitely, well within the next year or so, uh, me and my boyfriend I wanted to buy a house. So that's, well we're in the middle of that process now, it's going a very long road but it's like our dream. So. Hopefully, that'll be soon. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you this little hack. I don't know if you think it's a hack. Basically, if you have all your hair in your face when you're getting ready, just pop some glasses on your head. It's not gonna dent your hair. It's not gonna push everything back and ruin it. If anything, it's gonna give your fringe a bit of a lift and it's so much easier. Okay, I'm just going in with the Imagination palette and I think I'm just going to do some neutrals today, so I'll probably stick with this section, maybe a little bit of that in the crease. The next step for everything makes it, and what's the future for your channel? Ah, uh, well, at the minute, I'm kind of just, I've got so many ideas, and luckily my boyfriend is really, uh, he's just brilliant at photography and videography, and he loves doing it as well, so I want to do a lot of stuff like more outside, um, it's quite hard, obviously, because Mrs. Corona is around. Um, but I just, I want to be making different things. I don't want to give too much away. We have a new sort of thing coming in. It's something to do with topics on certain days. So that hopefully means a few videos a week. Um, 
for example, I want to do a music Monday. I used to do it, ooh, I used to do it on my blog, um, but just talk about like new music that's coming out, new artists. I've got a few people lined up already to talk about that. Um, I want to get into more documentary style sort of videos. Uh, I have a lot to say about a lot of topics, basically, and I don't just want to brush past them because they are very serious topics and topics that are very close to my heart. So it's not something that I just want to be brushed past lightly. It's something that I love and yeah, I'm just passionate about. So I do want to do more like documentary stuff. I want to get people involved. I want to get other people's point of views. Just very like taboo subjects or just anything that I love. I just want to get everything out more. If that makes sense, I don't really know. Where do you see your channel in a year from now? A year from now, I'd love to be at 20,000 subscribers. Obviously, I'd love to be at a lot more, but realistically, 20, I didn't ever think I'd get to 10,000, and we already are, so thank you for everyone who stuck around. But, I don't know, it's hard. Because obviously, I'm only gonna get out what I put in, so if I just try, try like my hardest, then 20,000 would be a dream. Doing documentary style things, um, having a bit of a better setup, <laughs> but, yeah, that is my dream for a year's time. How many children do I want in the future? Uh, we, we have spoke about this. I'd say two, three, a complete maximum. I'm convinced I'm gonna have twins. We have a lot of twins in my family, one set of triplets, and there are twins in my boyfriend's family. So if I don't have twins, I will be really shocked. What is your lifelong dream? Um. Apart from the obvious health and happiness sort of thing, my lifelong dream is to do YouTube full time. Uh, I know I've been saying it for years and a lot of you probably thinking, well you can't be that serious because you've been on and off for years. However, sometimes life just gets in the way, okay? Um, but yeah, it's just, it's one of the things, I love YouTube, all I do is talk about YouTube, watch YouTube. It's just what I love. I love being creative. I love doing my own thing. I love doing makeup. I love talking to you guys. I love interacting online, not even on YouTube, just other platforms. It's just my favorite thing to do. I love talking to people about it. I think I probably bore a lot of people about it, but I absolutely love it. And I hope that comes across in my videos. What's your favorite brand in makeup? I'd have to say Makeup Revolution. Most of the stuff I use is Makeup Revolution. This is only a few of the items that I'm using today. I just love it, they're so affordable. My favorite palettes have come out of Makeup Revolution. So Makeup Revolution has to be my win. Have you heard about the free, hashtag free Britney movement? I actually have. Um, it's something that I have kind of tried to dive into a bit. I, I do think there is a big thing behind it. It's not just how it's getting portrayed online, I don't think. Uh, like, I mean, it's not being blown out of proportion. Like, I do think there is a serious problem. I wouldn't say I know too, too much about it. I do need to kind of educate myself a bit more on that whole thing, I think. Um, but yeah, I just think there's obviously hidden messages. There's obviously hidden meanings and if people think it's a coincidence, then you need to educate yourself. What would be your perfect proposal? Uh, I don't think I have one. Like, I do think people think I'm lying about this. I was never that kid that grew up, like, planning their weddings, like, I'm gonna have this wedding, and I actually grew up not wanting to get married. Um, I don't obviously think that now. I think at the time I was just very anti all of that. I will go into depth a bit more about that sort of stuff. One day is a whole other topic, but I don't actually have a perfect place. Like you could say New York at Christmas, that's an absolutely ideal place. Or when we move into our first home, like that would be an ideal place. But I don't actually care like that. It doesn't actually bother me, and that's not me saying, like, I don't care, I just want it done, but I just feel like however it's done, it would be amazing. I don't really think about it too much anymore. I went through a phase of being very particular, <laughs> but at the moment, I don't actually care. It's not something I think about a lot. 
like I say, any more. Um, I'm just trying to stick with the whole everything happens for a reason, it will happen when it happens, don't rush things, everything comes in time. When's Max getting a cousin? If you don't know who Max is, I'll put a picture up here. He is my adorable, the cutest kid alive. No doubts who this question has come from. I don't have a clue, Rhiannon. I really don't. I don't plan that sort of thing. I'm not the sort of person that's like, when I'm 30, I need to have a kid. When I'm 26, I have to have my first kid. It's just, it's not something I really think about. It's not something I really focus on at the minute. Um, obviously, everyone's different. If you have a kid at 18, if you have a kid at 32, if you have a kid at 40, it's completely down to you. I just feel like there's no right time until you know, if that makes sense. Like, I could say, I want a kid at 26, but then when I'm 26, I couldn't feel, I might not feel ready at all. Or, I could say I want a kid at 26, and then at 24, we could be like, yeah, let's have a kid. Like, it's just not something I'm thinking about now. Uh, we do both want kids, not anytime soon. Um, I love my nephew so much because he's just the cutest kid in the world, but also I can give him back. <laughs> uh, not that I ever want to give him back because he's an absolute angel. But we're just not at that place now. Well, I'm not, especially that I just feel like I'm ready to have a kid. There's so much I want to do. I'm not saying that kids hold you back, but like I want to get a house. I want to go on holiday. I want to focus on YouTube. I want to focus on us and ourselves and just experiencing things and. You know, there's been a lot of obstacles in our way for quite a while, like work-wise and things. So these next few years are just going to be about us, what we want to do, just fulfilling our own dreams before we even start to think about that sort of thing. Um, also, just use the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation with a tiny bit of the L'Oreal Palace Inflam flammable 24 hour fresh wear. Honestly, I'm so rubbish at reading. Right, so that's on. People might think, oh man, this shade's a bit light. Trust me, it's not. Have you ever tried sushi? Yes. What makeup could you not live without? Um, if you're on about like makeup products, oh, this is really hard. I don't actually know because I could get by with like a mascara and a concealer and I'll be done because then I could do my brows, I can like smoke it out a little bit under the eye, pretend it's a eyeliner and I feel like concealer, like most of the times I just wear concealer anyway, mainly if I can't be asked. but I'll, I can't actually pick just one product. If I did, it'll, I don't know, Probably, if I did a happy mascara I think. That's my final answer. So this is the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define on the corners and the ELF uh, ELF 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. This is actually amazing. It's a dupe, I would say, for the Tarte Shake Tape. If you could move to a desert island and only take five people, who would you take? This is actually so hard because I just, I can't. I, oh, I honestly don't know. It would obviously be Jordan, um, my sister Max, but then after that there's so many people that I'd want to take because you know, I don't have a big group like in my life. <laughs> um, people around me, there's not a massive amount of people around me, so having to pick five is actually impossible, so I can't do them. Do you like Nigella Lawson? Yeah, she's okay. What's the most positive thing for you to have come out of the pandemic? Uh, um, okay, so during lockdown, it was really, really hard for me because obviously as it was for hundreds of millions of people around the world, that's not just me saying, oh, what was me? It was hard for everyone. But I went from seeing Jordan every day as a lot of people would have, not Jordan, but there are the hearts. Um, I went from seeing him every day 
to overnight being like, no, not allowed to see him anymore. Which, 100%, it's for everyone's safety. I get it. It just sucks. So, I was on leave from my job. I was very unsure about that. I was unsure about if I was going to be able to pay my bills. Um, like I say, we're saving for a mortgage and I had no money coming in. And it was just a really, really hard time. So, I think for a week, I did have a massive Meggy pity party. I just stayed, I'm staying with my mum, so I stayed in my mum's room for about a week, watching YouTube, Netflix, and just crying, pretty much. Um, and then my mum went to Morrison's, which is a supermarket near us, if you're from another country. <laughs> um, yeah, so she went to Morrison's and saw they had a job offer. So I thought, oh, might as well, it's a temp work, let's just go and have a look. So I went in there, and it was meant to be for night workers. So I went in to kind of think, I don't have any plans, so might as well go for a night shift. But then they offered me the role in the pharmacy, as a pharmaceutical system and a counter system. So I kind of just went for that. I went full in, um, a lot, a lot of reading, a lot of learning, and very mentally, physically, not physically, mentally very hard. Um, if a lot of you know me personally, I struggle a lot with reading. Um, I can read, <laughs> I can read. Um, but I just find it very hard to take things in sometimes and the amount of stuff that I had to read it was just very overwhelming a lot of the time. But it was good for me to really get stuck in. So I feel like for me, if I learned anything from the pandemic, it was just to try, try new things and don't be afraid because I actually ended up loving it. I'm not there anymore. I'm back at my other, like my old job as a florist, but I just learned to, I can do things on my own. I can actually be very independent. Obviously Jordan is my best friend ever, um, but, you know, I can go out there and push myself, myself. Um, but yeah, it was just very, very hard on certain times as it was for the rest of the world. Indian or Chinese? Chinese. I just thought it'd get more of an option. Because I can't, this is gonna be another video as well. This video is gonna go on for ages. Um, I can't have spicy food. I have a very severe IBS gut digestive, digestive problem. So I just think Chinese is a more safer option for me. Only eat McDonald's forever or never have a takeaway ever again. McDonald's forever. So does that mean McDonald's as in that's the only thing you can ever eat for the rest of your life? Or does that mean if you have a takeaway, it will have to be McDonald's? If it's the last one, then it will be the just only eat McDonald's. I don't, I don't know actually. Actually, that's actually stopped me. I don't actually know. <laughs> Do you believe in star signs? Now, funnily enough, I'm not a very spiritual person. I don't, I don't really know why. Um, I've never really had signs or felt anything. Um, I don't know if that's one of the reasons, but you know, I'm just not, not very spiritual. Um, it's something I might want to get into in the future. But star signs, I do have some belief in like <laughs> me and Jordan the other day were looking at like what your star sign says about you and I was crying with laughter because his one was so accurate it honestly it just it was like it was written for him I don't know about all this this new star thing has come about I still call myself a cancer I still call him a Leo I'm not too sure what that whole new thing is, but it was really funny like how accurate it was. So, you know, in that case, if that is the case even, then yes, I do, because that was so blooming accurate that it was a joke. Why is your nephew so cute? Well, my sister is stunning. Her husband is very like dark haired, because his dad is, well his, yeah, his dad's family is Portuguese. So he just has all the amazing features of both of them and he is just the cutest 
child in the world. And you know, he comes from my genes as well, so. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, no, he, honestly, he is the cutest kid. I will insert pictures everywhere because he is the cutest child in the world. Also, if you want me to do a video, including my nephew, please let me know. I don't know what we'll do yet, but I do want to get him on my channel because he's just adorable. Sorry, I'm rubbish at this. Blusher, MUA in rose tea. Um, bronzer, MUA bronzed in solar 110. I want 110. What is my brain doing? 110. Now I'm taking the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded in Peach Lights. And this fluffy brush. Um, so I don't sing anymore. Um, I don't sing in public anymore. Just... Sorry, I'm using the viewfinder now. I'm not even using my mirror anymore. Just to get the highlight on. Uh, Right, what I sing anymore? Get to the question. So, I sing in pub. I don't sing in public even. I used to, um, with like the school choir. It wasn't really a choir. We used to like take that and stuff. But I used to go to a recording studio and record my own songs. But I don't know. I think a confidence just got in the way a bit. Um, as in my confidence of myself, like how I looked. I just felt like it was something else people to pick apart if they didn't like my singing and. I just became very down on myself, but I do record myself a lot now. When we move out, obviously I want to get a new, a bigger microphone for this camera, but I do want to start recording. Jordan sings, he's an amazing singer, and he plays guitar brilliantly. So it would be nice for us to do something together. Like, I won't even sing in front of Jordan, like that's how self-conscious I am about it now. I don't know why, because I feel like if anything over the years, I've developed a bit more, as in like technique, but I don't know, it's just one of those things I get really nervous about now. Have you ever thought, crikey, your, my name rhymes with egg? No, I haven't. <laughs> if you had to wear one out for forever, what would it be? Biker shorts and a baggy t-shirt. Probably a merch t-shirt. Are you and your sister close? Yes, we are really close. What did you want to do when you were little? So when I was really, really little, I wanted to be a cleaner. I don't know if kids go through that phase, or if that's just me being weird. But then, as I was growing up, I wanted to be the typical fashion designer, a singer, um, what else was it? A teacher, like the whole classics. But as I got to, I'd say, 16 upwards, it was a YouTuber. Who inspires you? Uh, people, oh sorry. People around me who inspire me. Uh, Jordan, my sister, um, just because, you know, we've been through stuff that only me and her will ever understand, so how she has portrayed herself after everything, I just find really inspiring. Best moment of your life? One of my best moments. Okay, so let's wait for that to dry. So, um... Best night in life, right, so we were in Brighton. My sister paid for us as thank you because for her wedding I did her the makeup, flowers and hair for everyone. So she paid for us to go away. Now one of the nights we went to Jamie's Italian, which by the way was the best freaking restaurant? Best restaurant going. And the fact it got closed down was, mm, it's too fresh, but we had an amazing time, it was like the best meal we've ever had. But as we, we were like all in our finery and we stepped outside and it just hammered down. Like it was so, it was, wind was awful. The rain was like, it was so, like the raindrops were so thick. It was like bouncing off the ground. It was awful. And it was about a 15, 20 minute walk back to our hotel. We didn't have any coats because we thought it would be a nice night, stupidly. So we were walking quickly back to our hotel and there was a little co-op on the corner street near where our hotel was. So we just decided to run straight back to the hotel. Uh, back to we ran straight to the co-op, 
dripping wet. Like I, my makeup was everywhere. I had like, rain dripping off our nose. Like it was awful. It looked like I just had a shower in my clothes. And we got loads of snacks, went back to the hotel, <laughs> got our pajamas on, and we watched, oh, what was it called? Oh, Celebs Go Dating and Naked Attraction. For some reason, when we go on holiday, like in a hotel here, Naked Attraction and Celebs Go Dating is always on. Even if it's not the Celebs Go Dating season, there's always reruns by the time we watch it. And it's just a thing we do. We find it really funny. And that was just my best night, because just simple little things, but it was so good. What's your favorite Disney movie? Uh, of the classics, I'd have to say Cinderella. Goals you want to accomplish. So, I was about to say realistic goals are, but all goals are realistic. I need to think more about that. So, hitting a million subscribers is a definite. Even 20,000, <laughs> that's a goal. Uh, buying our own home. What else? Just being happy, being steady, not having to, not overthinking everything is actually a goal of mine. Best and worst purchases. Purchase. I actually don't know. And it's true. I've, I, I have seen these questions before because obviously I've flipped through them. But I, that, I don't. I, probably my camera. My camera is my best purchase. Yeah. Uh, worst purchase. Duh. I've probably purchased. Purchased. I've probably purchased some rubbish over the years, but I can't actually think of like a worst I don't know I really don't know are you worried about anything it should be is there anything you aren't worried about I, I am a warrior I overthink absolutely everything it's something I am working on I really struggle with worrying about things that aren't even happening or aren't even anywhere near the future I just I don't know why. Well, I do know why, <laughs> but I don't know. I literally worry about everything. So, to name one would be out of a thousand. What was the last picture you took? Um, I don't actually know. Let's have a look. The last picture I took was of my little baby nephew. That. What makes you judge people? Now, I would say I'm not really a judgmental person. However, how people's actions are towards other people, I think is a big say on their character. So with this whole like Black Lives Matter movement, just sexism, racism in general, how people manners and how they behave towards other people that is a big thing for me um if you can't respect other people then you shouldn't i don't know if you can't respect other people then i just feel like you have a lot of learning to do you have to re-educate yourself on being a nice human the stuff i'm taking here it is the Lottie London and Imagination collab. These are amazing. I'd say they're an amazing dupe for the Stiller. Stiller, Stiller, I'd call. They come in three different shades. I'm just gonna talk about this brand quickly. So this is the Immortal Matte Lip Ombre Kit from Hot Ombre. This is amazing. It is, oh my God, I can't remember her name. I'll put her Instagram up here. But Jordan got me these for Christmas. He got me the whole complete set. So they come like this. They are, this one's the brown shades. So this is peach and toasted. Toasted is my all time favorite, but they've got like reds, pinks, nudes. Honestly, the, if you get the, if you're gonna get it, get the whole kit. Cause I think it's something like the whole kit all together makes a hundred different colors. So it's so, so worth it. It lasts all day. Like my boss always says to me, have you reapplied your lipstick? I'm like, no, it's just a really good lipstick. But, so yeah, I'm gonna put toasted on. I should probably use a mirror for this. See, a lot of people do lip liner first. 
which is obviously makeup is the best thing because it's completely how you want to do it. However, if you watch the glow, glow up on BBC Three, they did they did competitions at the end, kind of when like the challenges. If two people about to get kicked out, they do a little makeup challenge, and one of them was black lipstick, and they all did the lip liner first and the black on top. But if you with dark colour specifically, if you do the dark lip first and then the liner, it just seals it in and makes it that extra crisp. Right guys, so believe it or not, this actually is an everyday look for me. A lot of people might think it's too much, which you know probably is, but I don't care. Um obviously it's not every single day I do this, but if I am going out like with friends or so yeah, this is my everyday makeup, pretty much. Most of the time I'll just do a lighter lip, but eyes, they're the same. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I had so much fun. Thank you for everyone who submitted your questions. I hope I got through everyone's. I th I'm pretty sure I did, but thank you guys so much. I've had so much fun filming again. I can't wait to edit this. I've missed editing, I've missed filming. I'm so, so glad I've got this camera to do some really good makeup looks for you guys. I can't wait, I have a whole book full of ideas, but it's just so nice to be back. So if you are new to my channel, please, please subscribe, it means the absolute world to me, you do not know. Please click the like button if you like this video. If you have any other recommendations, if you have any other recommendations for me, please feel free to comment down below because I am open to pretty much everything. But yeah, I'm glad to be back. Bye guys! I just completely forgot. <laughs> I'm doing the thumbnail. I forgot to take my blue and eyebrows off. It's a peel off one. <laughs> what an idiot. I was probably thinking, love, you gotta keep your eyebrows on. <laughs> and then I just pat them. <laughs>